When you host your application on AWS and integrate with any external API, the API provider will return a response code with each request. In production systems, it's important to find and debug error codes quickly, especially if you get large numbers of errors. Stripe provides Workbench, a next generation debugging tool to help you quickly find and group HTTP errors. In this video, I'll show you how you can find HTTP responses to API calls and debug quickly using Workbench. When you send an API request from your AWS hosted application, if you've enabled logging in your code, you'll see the HTTP response code in your logs. A 200 response is good news in the world of APIs. It means that your request was received and processed. However, when you start to see other codes, it's time to start debugging. Some codes like 404 will only be visible in your AWS logs because it means the API resource couldn't be found. This is an easy one and usually means there's a problem with the URL you are trying to access, such as a typo. 404s often appear in the development process. But for many other codes, the logs in AWS are only a starting point, and it will often be faster to use Workbench to locate more details about the error. Workbench is a browser-based tool in the Stripe dashboard that takes advantage of the logs that we generate for you automatically. You can reach it from dashboard.stripe.com by clicking on the Workbench bar at the bottom of the screen. From here, there are three useful tabs for understanding HTTP errors. First, the Logs tab shows each API request and response. You can click a single request to show verbose information on the right-hand side. The filter bar enables you to search for only successful or only failed requests. You can search by HTTP verb, endpoint, and other attributes to narrow down the search. This is a fast and effective way to navigate large numbers of logs. The Insights tab can help you provide an aggregate view quickly by grouping the types of message, errors or warnings, for example. Clicking into an error will provide rich information and insights into the cause. The Errors tab can be useful in busy systems where you need to quickly identify groups of errors. This is much easier than tailing log files on a server and can reveal different issues. Sometimes these HTTP errors may be caused by your end users, such as when they miss key payment details. Others might require you to take action, such as if you're bit hitting rate limits and you're being throttled. This view makes it easier to find these problems and take action. My name's James Bezik, and I lead the DevRel team here at Stripe. For more learning resources, visit stripe.dev, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.